Greetings everybody and welcome back to Rebuilding the Commonwealth with myself. So uh, last episode we uh, built some bedrooms yes. for the castle, be quiet you. And as you can see it is daytime and we have some people sleeping. Look at these lazy people. No, I'm joking. Um, I decided to give the castle some more realism. Um, well, mostly realism, if you call it that. I found a lot of the guards were working 24 hours if you put them on defense, which is what I believe is the vanilla standard. I thought this wasn't very realistic, so what I did was move the guards from here. Um, there are some guard mats, as you can see here, which are empty. I thought I closed this. Brilliant. So we've got like a uh, Colin here. I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. Now Colin, right over here, has got an A1 day shift schedule. So he will work 10 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night before he he leaves his post. At uh, 10 o'clock at night, he is replaced by Randy Houseman who patrols here well stands here I think that's Randy here isn't it Jim. oh no that's Harper fair enough so I've done this for every guard uh, Howard Heinrich is here yes and Howard Heinrich works during the day and is replaced here by uh, who's the guy I replaced him with He'll come back to me in a minute. He's probably around here somewhere. But um, I replaced him with somebody. Uh, George Ford over here. And Ben Hargreaves. They are the night guards for the war room. So at 10 o'clock at night, Private Green. That's sort of Specialist Green. And uh, the other guy she patrols with there. They will leave their posts and be replaced with Hargreaves and Ford. Uh, I've also created another bar area. I removed this post here because the singer just looked really out of place. Uh, let's put that here. So yeah, I moved the, um, the singing post because it it just didn't fit with the aesthetic and with the radio going it, it just looked awkward so I removed it and I gave Amber here her own bar so she's now got a third bar I've put down some chairs and tables over here to try and spread the Minutemen out a little bit I found they were all congregating right here and it was just it looked like an absolute mess, especially when Alpha, Bravo and Charlie squads were at home. So I've kind of separated them a little bit. So that looks a lot nicer. Uh, I've set up one of the artillery posts up there. Uh, that's a sort of prototype that will change. But uh, that's for a future episode. So all of our guards now have day and night shifts. So we've got some who sleep during the day. Which is a lot more realistic. Uh, Captain Horobin yeah. is now the night commander. Hey, he sits here during the nights and he works. Uh, we've got one radio General. operator on night shift, which is Cecilia Crawford. And Markinson here works during the day. Hey, Drexler works at night and Roy works during the day, but he's not at his desk at the moment. Lazy fucker. One day we'll put this back together better than ever. Yes, Preston, of course we will. So yeah, Drexler is asleep here as well. So um, we've given this place some really good day and night shifts. So Stanley and Green here. That's who I was looking for, Wilfred Stanley. So I'm really liking the way this castle is turning out now. But today's project is the officers' quarters. Now I've added in a couple of beds in the interim. As you can see on the top left here that hasn't stopped ticking, I have scrapped a huge number of weapons from my box to uh, get some extra materials. I now have a recipe to create ballistic fibre because the only way I could get it 
is from a shipment that only Cleo sells, or I'd have to wait for gunner attacks or raid some gunner outposts and steal their chest plates. And that's just not going to work. That is going to take me months to do. So I got a mod for a recipe. Uh, it's an expensive one. It uses adhesive, fiberglass, um, ceramics, and plastic. Now, plastic, I'm finding, is actually quite difficult to get a hold of. Not too many weapons have plastic in their recipes. There are some. So I think it's a good balance. I'm not sort of just getting a free recipe for ballistic fiber. So uh, it's, it's doing all right. That glitching thing was annoying me. So that will just kind of speed up getting the uniforms put together just a tad because ballistic fiber is a pain in the fucking ass to get. Excuse my French. Okay, so we're going to do the officers' quarters. That is not even attached to the wall. That's fun. So this is where the guys in the war room will come to take their their sleep, come take their leave of absence. See, I like these Minuteman cots, but they're just so small. So let's take these beds away. I'm thinking we could sleep four in here. So I'm thinking Major McMillan, um, Hartfield, Preston, and Hartigan, the four around the war room table. Uh, Captain Horobin and who's the other one in there? No, it's just Captain Horobin. So yeah, the, the officers' quarters can be here. So as usual, we're going to use the uh, these beds here. And I think a fourth one in this corner is not going to look out of place. It is quite a big room, after all. Now, this corridor leading up to the top of the wall, I have never seen a settler or a Minuteman use it. So, I have literally no qualms whatsoever blocking it off. It's just going to serve me better, and it gives this room a lot more utility by closing it off. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, if I op open this door, oh. oh yes, of course, I'm over encumbered. That's brilliant. To look at it, but... There we go. In such disrepair. All that junk. What a different world it would be. This is Radio Freedom. Voice of the Minute Man. It's six o'clock. Yep, that's not going to get in the way. Keep it tuned here for update. So these are the officers' beds, which is what we like. I find there are settlers standing around at night, and I figured out why at last. <laughs> the reason they stand around at night is because I took off the automatic bed assignments because I wanted to assign my own meds. In some ways, I feel like I should only have three beds in here. Because no, the thing is, I've given Macmillan a bed nearby anyway, so we only need three. So you know what, let's take this one out. Give it a little bit more space. So this is for Hartfield, Preston and Hartigan. This is the officers' quarters. A very nice officers' quarters. I mean, this looks like such a nice, cosy little room at the end of the castle here. Now, Homemaker has um, internal decorations. I think it has a radiator here somewhere. Christmas trees. Considering it's, um, it's early November, I'm actually tempted to put these down just for Christmas videos and uh, take them out after Christmas is over, but... I'm sure I can do that at a later stage. Come on, I know there's a radiator somewhere. That's the one. So let's put a radiator in. Need to make this room nice and warm for the officers. I think another one over here will look great. Look great. <laughs> yep, and it doesn't get in the way of the door. 
Excellent. Okay, so... You're going to want somewhere nice to sit down in here. I'm thinking a nice luxurious red sofa. How many seats have we got here? Oh, that couch is a bit big. I have to have a couple of armchairs instead. Yeah, nice comfy armchair for one of these officers. Um, we don't have a smaller couch, do we? Not this one. You know what, that looks alright. I mean, no furniture in a post-apocalyptic wasteland is going to be that matching, so... I think that's a good shout. Let's give it a really good floor covering. Now, Homemaker by far has the best uh, floor coverings. Oh, that's what we look for, floor coverings. Nice red rug. Um, is that going to really badly lower the quality if I make this rug absolutely enormous? <laughs> You know what, I don't think that looks bad at all. I mean, it's nicely carpeted, it's got a little stone border. Um, so that looks like it now goes through the wall. That's fine, it's just got a small border there. A small border there. That's absolutely fine. And the quality looks perfectly fine. I don't see a problem with that at all. Brilliant. Now, I think in the do it your shelf, we can use a bit of clutter in the do it your shelf section here. Uh, library and storage. I mean, these offices are going to be well read. I mean, there's no staff college. But um, there's no staff college in this uh, post-apocalyptic wasteland. But I'm sure we can improvise here. Uh, where is OC Decorator? God, I love all these mods. I really do. Whoever made these has really made this series. I think we can use the alarm clock here to prop that up. Now, do we have any more comfortable pillows here? 13. Yeah, we got enough to pad out these beds. Yeah, so no more surface snapping. Let's turn that around to make sure it doesn't look too symmetrical. Slightly offset it. Excellent. as though they're not even on the bed and that is because they were not <laughs> oh dear
now they're on the bed. Brilliant. Uh, it's a bit dark in here, so let's get some proper light. Uh, put surface that back on. Yep, bring that back. Much cosier in here now. And they're all going to have lampshades. I mean, these offices we're talking about. These are the top brass. Excellent. Now, you know for a fact these guys are going to have a huge... <laughs> Minuteman flag in here. Mm, that looks so dirty on that wall. Must be the decals on it. Let's hang the flag up nice and high. Just to keep it just a tad out of the way. Okay, so on this wall, of course, we're going to have these nice rich paintings. Not entirely sure why they don't attach properly to this wall. That's a bit weird. I think that the decals on this don't look particularly nice. I think it's just the way the wall is designed. Or just how it's built in game. Do we have any sort of nice small ones in here? Um, suppose. Oh my goodness, that is ridiculous. That's better. Yeah, that was uh, really bad there, so... Brilliant. Let's get some of these guys uh, assigned to the beds. I'll add things like handguns and all that in a sort of off camera because uh, I know they can be a little bit tedious to watch. Right, so Terence. Terence Hartigan. You are assigned to the officers' quarters. That is your bed. So resource is now assigned. Thank you. They, I think they still have some trouble navigating this. Preston. Excuse me, that was a quite the sneeze which just came there. Preston, that is yours. Stay safe out there. And Sergeant Hartfield. Where are you? Oh, come on. She's not that difficult to spot, is she now? There she is. Nicely sitting inside a table. <laughs> okay. down the end here where they're guaranteed privacy and will not be disturbed. Excellent. So let's skip forward to when everyone will be asleep. 
I'll show you what the castle looks like at night. So, 2 a.m. As you can see, the guards have changed. Hello, sir. We now have George huh? Ford and Ben Hargreaves. I don't know what you two doing are working because it's after hours. Or you. I just want to trade a few things. Of course. So you don't have a shift thing on you. See, so Draxler is now working nights. Cecilia is not at her desk. And yeah. Night Captain Horobin is here working away. A good old chap. Yes, yeah, so I've given Macmillan this bed. These are auto assigned. Uh, I haven't assigned any of these because these are just sort of placeholder beds. There's sometimes a glitch where they fall asleep standing up. I mean, that could not be comfortable, but I'll give him it. I haven't assigned these huh? beds either. Hello, sir. The maintenance guys. Yeah. We've still got people sleeping in the corridors or on sleeping bags in the maintenance room. <laughs> We've got a long way to go before we've got everyone nicely sleeping here. But we're getting there. Okay, so this room is done. This hallway is more or less done. Uh, we can actually get rid of these because we've got enough beds so far. Okay. So I think we've got rubber floor mats we can put down in this hallway to break up this constant stone. Uh, I don't actually think there's pathfinding in here. I cannot... Artigan. Let's, let's use you as a guinea pig. Can you go over there for me? Okay, the floor mat is a yes. Okay, the rug is also a yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so Hartigan can go in here and get some yes. shut eye. Yes. That's good. Good to know. Hi, how are you? Let's just forward another hour, make sure. Yep, so Hartfield, Garvey, and Hartigan are all asleep. So at least uh, at least put the pillow under your head, Garvey. <laughs> and you need to put that under your head too. There you go. <laughs> Get some sleep. Fantastic. So I'll sort out the finer decorations later, but this is our beginning of our officer's quarters. Excellent. I love it. Uh, got this just to break up the horrible oh. concrete. Nice little rubber mat to do this room. Okay. Now that we've tested that, let's go to the morning. Come on. Let's go to the morning. Brilliant. Oh, you're not stuck again, are you? Get out of the room. I need to redecorate. 
Thank you. Okay, so let's move that over just a tad. You know, it doesn't matter if it goes into the, the trim there. I have a feeling this is going to really hurt for space. So if we have to put it slightly into there, as long as it looks like it belongs, that's fine. And I think it does. So we've squeezed out a bit of space here, which is good. Uh, that's fine. So we've got a little bit of space in there. Let's move these Minuteman cots. I'm really hoping I can fit fit this bed in. Yes, I just about can fit another bed. Yeah, so this side of the castle is going to be a barracks for everyone. Hello. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Hello, Stay Captain. So, higher ranking people are going to be here. Captain Horobin, sure. that can be your bed. Dominic the Iron, you've been rele relegated. You don't sleep here anymore. And neither do you. Or you. Thing is, with this here, there's not much I can do with this room. But then again, it is a barracks, so I'm not expecting there to be a lot. Let's put down some floor mats between them to break up some of this. And can I put like a maybe like a thin runner through here? I think there should be something like that in Homemaker. So if I can scale this down to sort of 80%, and scale that down, I can have a runner through here. Uh, yeah, that little step is just a bit behind. Oh no, that's 100, don't do that. That's what I want raise it ever so slightly to stop that glitching occurring on this joint here this is radio so this is a, a sweet little barracks the now being a barracks we can have a few containers and limited space so we've got cap the captain and the major who sleep here which is good he's literally right next to his work so perfect so a foot locker for each. Okay, so Sergeant Tennyson will get a bed. We'll give Frank Markinson a bed as well. Got it. Uh, I'm thinking these two as well should have a bed. Then again, Drexel is only a private first class. Cecilia is a specialist. But hey, I'll sort it out. Uh, Randy Hausman, not you. Hargreaves, no. To be fair, the door guards really should get that place. But um, I'm inclined not to. 
Uh, Draxler, you get a bed. And where is the last guy? That bowman, that's the night guard who stands over there. Ah, Roy. You're the other one who keeps uh, going AWOL from his desk. Don't approve. I do not approve. Uh, yeah, you get that one. Drexler gets that corner. Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. It's 12 noon. Nothing to report at the moment. Good question. For updates. That's Drexler. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all sure. across the Commonwealth. Perfect. Keep it tuned here for updates. Okay, so we need to give this place a tad touch of personality because it's it is looking quite drab. Well, it, it looks plain, is what I'm trying to say. Minuteman flag. Oh yeah, that's the same as in here, but it's not the same as the new Commonwealth one that we've put up. <laughs> My lurk hunter head. You know what, I reckon that won't look too bad. Maybe this little squad here and their their glory day before they got office jobs. They've killed a massive Milo hunter. That'd be kind of cool. A bit, bit of lore for the squad. Okay, furniture. We don't have much space for anything really, but we'll give it a try. I mean, they must have space for at least something, right? Maybe one of these egg chairs. Yeah. At least give them an egg chair or two. They've got to have a few luxuries in their barracks, haven't they? Oh, that's... Um, that's in even better shape. <laughs> give me that. Oh, okay. It's in good shape, but... It's the dirt from the wall. It's the decal from it. There's not much I can do about that, to be honest. Oh. I see a bit of clipping here. It's 1 PM. This is radio That's naughty. Oh well, it's not like you can see it. Well, it's going to look dirty as fuck, but oh well. Yeah, I can just move it that way. Uh, it just looks like the side of it is a bit dirty. I can live with that. Great. Now, do it your shelf. We can put up some single shelves like that. Yeah, let's put a couple of single shelves above these beds. I mean, that's bulletproof and, you know, shatterproof glass, so... So they can keep their stuff nearby. Maybe this guy just wanted to be a little bit cooler. Put some metal on it. Great. So, wall coverings. I haven't really checked posters. I don't know if it's just literally all movies. No, it must seriously be all movies. Oh, it's a movie poster and it's got a little bit of light to it. I don't think that's too bad at all. Yeah, maybe like a souvenir they caught during a mission. Make them part of a squad. Bar sign? This is radio 
Oh, there's some broadcasting all day big one. all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Yeah, that's fair enough. There are some funky things in this signage uh, section, but not quite sure what to do with it all. Let's put another couple of uh, paintings. No, I think that looks good, actually. What I think would accentuate it a little bit is a couple of lights. I think these industrial wall lights. Yeah, a couple of those to give it a little bit of extra lighting. I mean, we've got a bulb over here. So let's put a bulb up here in a similar position. Awesome. I would say he'd have one, but that's way too big for like a nightlight of some kind. I put a fluorescent light here. How much light would that actually give me? It's not getting in the way of the conduit, so that's good. Aha, Drexler has gone to bed. Perfect. Now I'll put the um, pillows down later. You still haven't got a job. Hmm. Oh dear, we're going to have to get you a job. Uh, we was thinking this could be part of an infirmary, but right next to a guard's quarters, that might be a bit distracting at night. <laughs> Unless this is just soundproof or something. Let's, um, let's mark this place. So, I think... I think, that is, that under Gruffy DD here, we've got some... All signs, health, safety, and law. I think we're looking at the hospital. This is radio Pharmacy. Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. No, it's not that. Labels. Guard room. Barracks. There we go. Uh, is there another one? No, there's just letters. So let's put barracks down here. My god, that's not even close. Ouch. Okay. And now it's just uh, faded into the wall. That's... Uh, <laughs> That's handy. Oh well. No, I think I will make this into a kind of little infirmary. So if these doors are closed, it's a uh, it's a nice little what a place. Different world it'd be if folks just listen to the wisdom of the panel. This can be uh, soundproofed. I mean, it's thick concrete for crying out loud. So. This is nicely soundproofed. I'm sure I can add some like stickers to the walls here. Now furniture, there must be some kind of bedside table I can use. Thank you very much. Nothing to report. Keep it tuned here for updates. Uh, maybe they can improvise. So maybe they're using this steamer trunk here. Uh, let's turn the surface snap off so I can put it a little bit into the the edging there. I mean, that's not really noticeable unless you're really looking for it. So maybe they're going to use the trunk here as some kind of uh, bedside table. Sheets. <laughs> I think that's good there. 
plastic pumpkin, gilded grasshopper. No idea where to find that, never seen it before. Uh, maybe a couple of relics they've captured over the over their time in the, the field. Some uh, crystal decanters. I should have a lot of like drinks, beers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have, I'm actually one pillow short of uh, filling out this this barracks, which is kind of sad actually, but I'm sure one person maybe just prefers just to have one pillow. You never know. There you go, Draxler, have a pillow. And have another pillow. Yep, that's perfectly placed for him. Let's put one that way. And one there, because some people sleep like that, I don't know. And this guy here... He only wants one pillow, so we'll just give him one pillow. It's all these little details which I really love doing. Um, I need to put some things on these shelves. But we need to get some guns first. So yeah, they're improvising with a bedside table. Maybe these guys are not. Maybe they're just a little bit more lucky. They've got an actual bedside table. <laughs> I can use a desk for one, that'd be funny. Yeah, they can use this nice wooden one. It's a small barracks, but it looks like it's uh, a squad that sort of made it home for them, which is very promising. Despite the fact this mud from the floor seems to cake itself onto everything. I think it looks pretty nice. It doesn't seem to have caked onto this, which is a good sign. So let's, uh, let's decorate them with a few guns. What have we actually got here? Um, I've got quite a lot of stuff to be honest. Hollow tags from a couple of dead Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, these guys are definitely going to want a beer or two. <laughs> you know what? I'll have to do some thinking about it. I need to check how many guns I have it's and what shape. I can afford to put down. But for now, that's a good start to this little barracks we've got here. So we've got two officer beds. Uh, Major McMillan and Lucas Horobin. They sleep and eat, sleep, breathe here. The officers, Hartigan, Hartfield um, and Garvey. They all sleep there. And then we've got four guys who, let's just say they used to be in a squad. So we've got Mutu, we've got Harper, we've got uh, the guy who checks these instruments over here. Markinson and Tennyson, that's it. So those four sleep there. Perfect. Good. Now if we've got door guards... Uh, they're going to be asleep somewhere, I reckon. Hi, how are you? Or maybe they're glitched and they're still awake. Yes, they are. 
There you go. Hargreaves, you are the night guard. I don't actually think you've been assigned a bed yet, so... These are the maintenance guys. Hargreaves can sleep here. Where's the other night guard? Looking for George Ford. George Ford, where are you? There you go, George Ford. Whoops, a daisy. Hey! Sergeant First Class Price. Enjoying yourself there, Price. Excellent. So we've got these beds all yes. allocated. I mean, this has still got to be another barracks, really. We've got so many Minutemen who live here. I'm still not sure what to do with this room either. I mean, there's so much potential in it. Seems a bit of a waste to just turn it into a giant barracks. Unless I make this an infirmary. I could make it like the Minuteman archives, like the history room, like a, almost like a library. A library would be really cool. I mean, it's, it is a headquarters after all. Get a few settlers to man it. Problem is, the population of the castle is going to increase enormously. Yes. And I'm struggling to find beds for them. I'll be honest. Uh, so we've got a ghost using the weapons machine. But never mind. Right. Uh, this is quite a big room. I think th sleeping three in here wouldn't be unrealistic. So let's try that. Yeah, so we use the uh, slightly cheaper beds. I don't know, I just feel like that's a bit too claustrophobic. It's just too claustrophobic for me. I say that, but then I did just sleep four in a small room. I mean, this is only fit for two, let's be honest. to really tuck it in to this corner. And really, really tuck that in. Okay, that's kind of some space there. Let's tuck these into the, the walls as well. That's already tucked in as far as it can go. I mean, it's going to have to do, really. But these sleeping bags are going to have to go. It's getting dark out there, people. Stay safe. Making yourself comfortable already. Okay, so like the room down there, this has got some space for luxuries. Okay, so since these two are on night shift... Okay. Crawford and Hausman can sleep in here. Makes sense, they get one room together 
and that they're both on the same shift so they're not going to disturb each other so that makes quite a bit of sense I don't know what it is about Crawford here but she never seems to move anymore Why won't you move? Strange. So that was an invisible barrier there. Anyway, uh, Graffy DD will come through for me again. Factions, Minuteman, a nice new new Commonwealth banner in here. Great. Um, I think a nice bright TV will do this room really well. Uh, I forget which one it's under though. That must be shift change. All this furniture. That's a dirty TV. I think there's a nice bright TV here. Yeah. Nice bright TV. That's just giving me a thought. Why not make this into a gym and recreation? I mean, that's got to be something, right? but it would massively shorten out my bed spaces. Like, really badly shorten them out. It's going to feel so bog standard just putting these in, though. What kind of post-war shelves have we got? Nothing particularly nice. Let's do something similar to the other room. Can I turn that around? That's annoying. Okay, let's put this in first then. I think this is going to fit really snugly. Yeah, for some reason they don't snap correctly. That's quite annoying actually. There's a small gap in the middle, but we can live with that. Okay, flip this around. That looks good. That looks really good, actually. That'll have to be filled up with all kinds of stuff, but I think that gives a nice little persona here to this room. Looks good. 
I'm, I'm still in two minds what to do with this. If you guys have any ideas and the next episode hasn't been released yet, then please let me know. But this is also a Minuteman barracks. It's also the barracks of a couple of guards. So we're going to give them... Okay, one of them's going to have one of these nice steamer trunks. And I think there's another similar one down here. The industrial trunk. Yep, so they've both got all their possessions here. Perfect. Right, now my prized room in here is going to have to go. Well, it's going to have to move, at least. So let's shuffle these over. I'm quite gutted to be doing this, I will admit. Cannot ever lose this chest. That is worth so much resources, that Minuteman armament chest. Thank you. Could you fuck off out of here, please? You're not wanted in here, Corporal Curtis. Right, this is going to be a sort of washroom. So, how am I going to do this? I mean, it's got to be clean stuff. This is Radio Freedom. Well, I'm still Radio Freedom. Nothing to report. Nothing to know what you say about their F1. Ah, that's nice. Yes? Could you please move? Me sleep so they move. Cool. Right, so I'm going to do this to make sure everyone has privacy. That's the thing. What's this power cable coming into the building? I just move this up so it doesn't intrude. That's perfect. So having these uh, water sources out here is a good thing in some ways because it looks like it actually brings water into the castle. Right, concrete. Now if it's in a bathroom, it's probably going to be a bit dirty. It's going to be a bit steamed up, I reckon. That's just too clear. Way too clear. Okay, let's go to G2M, because that has some really good concrete. Let's make it a dark window. Let's uh, shrink it down, because we don't really need a lot. And we'll pop that in. That's practically spot on, so that's fine. Brilliant. Right, so in terms of decorations. Now it is a bathroom, so... And we're not going to need this door over here. So let's go back to G2M, my apologies. Back to concrete walls. And let's block off this bit here. Now, do I have something on the old version I can use? Do I have corners without a door? No. Just windows. That's actually really annoying, to be honest. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's fairly annoying. Though I think there's something in grounded that we can use. If we go back to structures, concrete, and then grounded, we can use the same one we used over here. I think it was under miscellaneous. Yeah, it was pier stone. Let's use that, otherwise it'll bleed into the hallway. So we'll conceal that. Brilliant. As I say, I've never seen a settler use these stairs, so I have no qualms blocking it off. That looks a lot nicer. So, furniture. CWSS redo. So we'll put the shower station in. Now what's it going to look like if I put it flush to the wall? Put it flush to the wall. That I think that looks a tad weird. So let's not put it flush to the wall. But then that leaves a gap I have to address. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Is a question. Do any of these produce happiness for the settlement? Seriously, you need gold for that. <laughs> Damn. So the toilet stations or bathroom stations don't actually make anybody happier. That kind of sucks, actually. Okay, so if I put in... Okay, so if I put in a left stall piece... Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. This is Radio Free Dawn, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Okay, and we do have doors. Having that window slightly off centre is going to really annoy me, so... <laughs> That's much better. Much better. So let's... Uh, I don't, don't really feel like it's going to be particularly comfortable being on all these disgusting floors, so... Let's put some floor mats in there. Fantastic. Furniture. Toilet stations. I, mean, I do want a decent one. I don't really want scratch looking ones. Yes, yeah, so I think placing these in here will be good. That's slightly away from the wall, so we'll move that backwards. That's against the wall, that's perfect. Really strange how you can actually snap that. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, accessories. It's got to be like a toilet roll holder or something here. I'm 
going to the bathroom in comfort, yes. Brilliant. No, no outhouses required. Oh, you can actually snap that onto the wall of the store. That's good. Really poetry. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to put them in here. We want this place to be nice. Um, I don't know about you, but even though it does look out over a really high castle, that would make me awfully uncomfortable uh, using the bathroom in front of a, a window that big. So let's uh, let's block it up. I've decided. <laughs> It's going to be under Caves Miscellaneous. Where is the small... <laughs> the small pier bricks? That's the one. There we go. I'd feel a lot more comfortable now. <laughs> so furniture, a wash. I think there should be some sinks or something like that. Sink stations, that's it. That doesn't fit in here whatsoever. like a clean bloody sink to use. No, we really don't. Okay, we're gonna have to use these. Let's turn surface snap off. Just for a moment. You should know. But people have been yep. complaining a bit about the bed situation. Yeah, I think that's about the right height for someone. In fact, I think it can go up a little bit. Yeah. Sink stations. So it's about on the third one up. I don't care if anyone's complaining about the bed situation, it will be addressed. You just have to give it time. Perfect. Now... Still think we need more floor mats in here. Let's make sure we surface snap these hmm. now let's um let's just use these Give it a little bit of variety. I'll turn this around the other way. Okay, so we've got a bathroom as well now. Still need to make like a shower station, but I'll make that but another part of the castle. I'll have to uh, do a bit of thinking about it. Or I could make that underground, actually. Yes. But then I can't really populate the underground. Got work to do. Can't talk now. What, walking around? Yeah, that's that's a lot of work. 
walking around. It's a lot of work. Okay, so we've got a bathroom. We've done up three bedrooms, uh, the officers' quarters. We've done the room next door to yes. the second officers' quarters. We've got a barracks. We've got another barracks made up here. Oh, great. They've all decided to sleep here instead. Anyway, for this episode, I think that is enough. I'm going to do a bit of thinking off camera and get back to you guys when, uh, when I've come up with even more ideas. But I'm loving this project. It's really, really good. Oh. And we're not even half done, guys. This castle project has still got a long way to go. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you, and peace out.